Good morning, everybody, and happy, happy Monday. Welcome to my yard. You can probably hear my neighbor next door uh, getting some work done. So even that happens in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we all have neighbors. But welcome to my little park. I'm so glad you're here today. So um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Rita Hickman. I'm a body-mind expert and a shiatsu massage therapist. And my passion in life, my goal, is to help as many women as I can, and men, but specifically women, because I have a much better understanding of the mindset, uh, to help as many women as I can figure out how they work. Because if you figure out how you work, then you can use your tools, you can use what you were meant to use in order to fix your body. You know, before I got into Asian medicine, uh, I spent decades, literally decades, from my childhood into my 20s, and uh, starting into my 30s, hey Lee, nice to see you. Um, I spent so many decades feeling sick and angry. I mean, you're not supposed to feel that way in your 20s and 30s, but I did. And so it really led me to Asian medicine. And once I started to find out, uh, once I started to really explore it and realize how thorough Asian medicine was, and how uh, specific and how it could work on very specific issues and heal very specific problems uh, without needing you know a ton of um, fancy tools or electronic gadgets or or a lot of pharmaceuticals that you know really messed up my body when I found that I had the ability to heal my body um, and to heal my thoughts and how I was feeling it was a game changer for me Hey, Evie. I'm going to see Evie later today. I'm so excited. And Tom's here today, too. Cool. So I sp Asian medicine really gave me a doorway into understanding and being able to um, reverse a lot of the choices that I made or a lot of things that were happening in my life, whether they were um, choices uh, about how I would eat or choices about where I would live or the job that I had. You know, these were all choices that we felt you know, we were kind of, we kind of had to do. To live in today's society, it's so, we're all doing a lot of the same things. We're all making a lot of the same choices. And what it does is it's making us sick and it's making us angry. Well, I hit my limit early on. I hit my limit uh, really around 30 is when I said I've got to change this. And then it took me a few years to find Asian medicine. Hey, Carla, nice to see you. So one of the things that I loved about uh shiatsu in Asian medicine was that I didn't need to spend $10,000, go to, you know, um, a big uh, acupuncture school, spend years getting my license, and, uh, and then deal with insurance and, and do all of that. I, I really wanted, hey, Janae, nice to see you. I really wanted to use... Um, Asian medicine and and the acupressure points and, and all the information around Asian medicine I really wanted to use it to help me heal but I there's no way I wanted to spend that amount of money or put that amount of time into um, into getting an acupuncture license so this is why I was so excited when um, I met Janet hey Sandra nice to see you Janet is uh, someone who does acutonics and she's going to be coming to um, inside my space next Saturday. Hey, Kathy, good to see you. Uh, next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and doing a three-day workshop. So what's it about? It's about being able to use sound to heal your body. Now, I have a minor in vocal music. I have a background in music. I've always loved music and sound. Um, I would love to go to live concerts and sit near the speakers because I felt like I was getting a full body massage from the sound vibrations coming from the speakers. I would go and after, you know, within 15 minutes, within 20 minutes, I felt totally relaxed. My whole body was, was vibrating and I loved it. Sometimes the louder, the better. Sound and the vibrations, it didn't even matter as much what was being said or sung. It was those sound vibrations that would um, really uh, activate my whole body. You know, get everything vibrating. 
And so I always knew how powerful sound was, not just, you know, music and the words or halfway decent stereo or the radio, but vibration, the vibration of sound. So the neat thing about vibration of sound is that it does activate things. So they've discovered or, or, or figured out that they can use sound vibrations to do the same thing that acupuncture does. In fact, Janet, who's uh, an acupuncturist, got into sound healing and got into using uh, gongs and singing bowls and specifically tuning forks to really do the same thing that she was doing in her acupuncture practice. But she wasn't using needles uh, for it. She People didn't have to get unclothed. They didn't have to expose things. Um, she could do it just using sound and sound healing. So I really fell in love with it because think about it. Sound is a vibration and when you take that vibration and you concentrate it on the exact same points that acupuncture and acupressure use, then you can go really deep into the muscle, you can go deep into the bone, you can talk to um, the DNA. Now I know that sounds kind of crazy talking to the DNA, but science has found out that our emotions um, directly affect our DNA. Hey Anne, it tells our body which genetic markers to suppress and which genetic markers to leave open. So we can actually, um, we talk directly to our DNA. Hey Aunt Hannah Lisa, we talk directly to our DNA all the time by how we feel, by our energetic state, by what we surround ourselves with. So the other thing that they found, hey Carrie, nice to see you. The other thing that they found is that um, you can uh, stimulate these thoughts, these feelings, these experiences. You can, you can stimulate them and they used to stimulate them using acupuncture needles and they used to stimulate them using uh, you know, acupressure. The neat thing is, is now we're able to use sound. We're able to use very specific sound to activate the same acupressure points, the same acupuncture points, um, and really get the same, if not better, results. Sound is a vibration, and a vibration uh, talks to your body, and it tells your body what to do. That's what acupressure and acupuncture points do. They talk directly to the body, and they say, I want you to send blood here. I want you to send uh, nervous system signals there. I want you to start healing that over there. It's, it's very specific. Asian medicine is super specific for healing everything from your thoughts, negative thinking, obsessive thought patterns, uh, to your emotions, anger, hurt, jealousy, grief, irritation, frustration, to the physical stuff, a bad hip, um, a heart that's giving you trouble, um, thyroid problems, liver problems, adrenal fatigue, you know, so it, it directly says, I want you to fix this. And so now that we're able to use sound vibrations, we can tell the body with the vibrations, with a tuning fork, I want you to heal this. And if you do it regularly, the, the biggest problem with acupuncture appointments is you have to make an appointment or working with me. You have to make an appointment. But this is stuff that you can do in between. These are things that you can do at 2 a.m. that you can do um, when you're stuck, when you're lost, when you only have a chance to go to the bathroom, you know, to get out of the situation. You can carry a little tuning fork with you and balance yourself out and start healing things. Or let's say you've got a bad back. If you do a practice every day of stimulating those acupuncture and acupressure points, then you are going to get better. It's going to heal itself because you're directing your body, I want you to heal my hip. I want you to heal my back. Or like uh, Evie, who's on today, I want you to heal my throat. I don't want to have to have surgery for this. So one of the biggest um, roadblocks to self-healing is that uh, we don't know enough about how we heal. And that's the coolest thing about using sound to heal is we're starting to realize you can use sound, you can use vibration. It could be the vibration of the saw next door. It could be the vibration of the washing machine or of the dryer or of, uh, or of an earthquake. All of these things are vibration and vibration when directed 
you know, when you do it with some wisdom and some knowledge, it heals, does the same thing, which is so, so cool. And that's why, you know, tuning forks work and singing bowls work and gongs work because they vibrate the body on a physical level. I cannot tell you how many years I spent wondering why I felt so bad. Hey, Linda. And trying to turn around how I felt by how I thought. You know, well, I need to mantra more. I need to think more positive thoughts. I need to not be so negative. I need to not be so angry. I need to not whatever. And the biggest problem was that my body didn't feel good. When you don't feel good, it is so hard to, to have happy thoughts. And I don't care how hard you try. I mean, it's like rolling a boulder up a mountain in order to change those, you know, I hate the world, I can't stand everybody, I'm sad, I'm angry, I'm hurting, to change it to, oh, isn't life wonderful? I felt like a complete loser when I tried those things because they didn't work. But what worked for me is working through the body. When I started to work through the body and heal the body, that's what healed my thoughts and my emotions. And you can do it. This, this stuff is so cool that you can learn how to talk to your body and tell it exactly what you want it to do, exactly how to heal itself. Hey, Cassandra, good to see you. So we'll be talking all week about sound and sound healing and how you can start putting it into your life and using it in your life, whether it's you know getting a really good stereo or having a good stereo system in your car and using it you know, to, to get your body into a healing space or really specific stuff like tuning forks where you can use them on the acupressure points. So if you want to start putting these things into your uh, personal healing practice, into your professional healing practice, energy, massage, whatever it may be, this is a super powerful way where you do not have to go and spend years getting acupuncture training. You don't have to spend years you know, and tens of thousands of dollars, literally tens of thousands of dollars, you know, getting licensed to use acupuncture. You can start to, to put these things into your practice immediately because people are not naked. You are not <laughs> putting needles into them. You don't have to have the state approve you to do it. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You can start it after this weekend. You can start putting it in and using Asian medicine in your practice right away. Okay? Cool. So, sound healing all week, which I love because I'm a vocal music minor. Absolutely love it. So, this is a favorite topic of mine. So, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Share, like, comment. Share stories that you have and comment on other people's stuff because this stuff is really important. We're going to start using sound to um, to really heal the, those tricky things that they've been giving you medication for, you know, that they've been like, there's nothing we can do. Maybe if you take Zimbalta, you know, maybe if you take an antidepressant, maybe you'll feel better. No, this is how you work directly with your body without side effects to get it to heal itself. I know, I love sound healing too. So we'll probably bring in some of my toys this week. We'll bring in my, you know, singing bowls and, and we'll get Janet on and uh, start talking about this stuff. But this weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is the Accutonics class at Inside, and I hope you're able to make it because um, we don't offer it very often, and Janet's the only instructor you know, in the northern Illinois area, maybe even in the Midwest, I'm not quite sure, but in quite a big region. In this region, Janet's the only one, and this is a fantastic, fantastic tool for um, helping your body heal. Good. I'm glad you'll love to see my toys. I have a lot of fun stuff. So have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.